again and welcome back to Vlogmas Day 3! Hi everyone, welcome back to another day of Vlogmas, it's Vlogmas Day 3 day. My hair is crazy because I've just woken up and it is just gone 9 o'clock. Um, yeah, so that's a vibe. Um, but yeah, it's the third today. Um, so yeah, um, that's that. And the vlog went up. Oh, the vlog's not up yet. So, um, that will be up soon. I'm going to order some breakfast, but let's go. Let's start vlogmas day three. I'm thinking about it. I've realised I've basically switched Luna's diet, so I think that's why she's been sick. Um, because she was originally on Felix, and I switched her to Whiskers when normally she's on Asda food. So yeah, she's had a massive change in her diet recently. So I think that might be the cause of her vomiting. So I think. What I'm going to do is, I'm going to wait out, see if it put in, like, once I, once she's eaten the food, um, see if it improves, if, um, she throws it up. If she doesn't throw it up, then that's the cause. If she does, then bets. Because I don't know what else to do, to be honest. I literally have zero other options at this point and it I don't like she's not suffering if she was like in pain I would like be like I don't give a shit if it's not the food I'm all like guess for that now but because she doesn't seem to be suffering like Google has literally said if your cat is like where's the toaster if your cat is like acting strange then vet attention needs needs to be done like immediately. But she's not. She's acting like Luna, but just being sick at the same time, which is very bizarre. So I don't know what to do at this point. I think I'm just gonna do my plan and hope that the issue is the new food. Um the change in her stomach recently, that's what's the cause. But if not, I don't know what else to do. Because that's not here I can think of. But right now, I'm going to be doing my advent calendar. Um, it just makes logical sense to me, to be honest, that that is the reason why she's been sick. Is because the change in her diet, which she does say on Google. So, okay, number th four. Three, four, three. Uh, third. Oh, God, this house. Third. There we go. Number three is here. Can you see it? Okay. Also, you guys, I just want to say thank you for the love on my vlogs so far. It's so cool. A milky bar kid. What have we got? There's a little star. And um, we've got oh, some baubles. Yeah. Some baubles. Oh. <laughs> I'm concerned. So I'm pop it. Oh no. That was very wrong. I don't know what's happened. I just caught my toaster on fire by accident. I think my toaster was just on fire. It smells burning. I don't know if there's any other way you can cook toast. 
Hmm. That's strange. I might have to just make a sandwich now because I don't want to. Oh no. Oh, can you air fry toast? I'm not even joking right now. Like, genuinely, can you air fry toast? I don't know, but we're going to try because toaster is like smoking on me and I don't want a smoke issue. Let's try and air fry these instead. I don't know how to do, I don't know if that's possible, but we're going to try. It won't take long to put these, so on the lowest setting, I think. 120. Hope I'm doing the right thing, though. Let me check. Who says you're allowed, so but I'm going to try it and hope for the best. Because I really, really want it. Okay. Where is my coffee? Oh, please don't say the views the last of the coffee because I will cry. That will be like a disaster. Drink. Yeah, it's really smoky out here now. I think I just nearly burnt the house down. <laughs> Great. Um, I can't find the coffee. That's upsetting. I might have to use normal. It's not an issue, it's just I'd rather have the. What's it called? Packet of coffee, to be honest. Oh, yes, yeah, something smoky as hell in here. Jeepers! I just definitely need to burn the house down, didn't I? Great lunch, Han. Well done on that one. Hallelujah. I found the last one. Oh, thank goodness. I was actually like, there must be one more packet, like, surely. And there was. So, let's keep going now. And I'm going to have a bougie coffee. Um, also, I'm keeping an eye on my toast as well. Okay, question. Have you guys ever tried marmalade? If so, did you like it? That's the question. Should we do that another day? Well, let's do a question a day. So, my first question is, um, have you ever tried marmalade? If so, did you like it? And if not, what's your favourite things to put on toast? Like strawberry jam, raspberry jam, blackcurrant jam, all the jams. <laughs> I don't know how many jams there are, but I do like a a jam, but I don't know why. I had a marmalade, orange marmalade, for the longest time, and I am really craving orange marmalade at the minute. Fine cut orange jelly marmalade. Yum, yum, yum. That is what I want in my tub. So, that's what I'm going to have. I just hope this works with the air fryer and the toast. Oh, it is! It's toasting! Just got to get a bit drowned now. So I'm just making my coffee, carry on. Hello. I'm on the, I am here. Just making some coffee. I'm glad I'm here. Okay. Let me just mixy mix this. It's very dark in here. So I feel like this is the content that you guys need to fill up the days, like me just filming Chinese shite. <clears throat> because otherwise I don't do anything. Right, let's check this toast. Oh boy, 
it was pouring down last night with rain absolutely horrendous outside so that was good um, i know i'm having a dinner soon but i really want to snack that anyone else love these i'm addicted it's so nice um what was it yeah what was i gonna say um yeah the rain was horrendous last night like genuinely horrendous like it was just pouring on the spot i was like sheesh um, i am going to do my bedroom transition today do you know what I think it is? With going concerts, it almost feels like you're on a bit of a hangover. Because, even though you're not, but because you've just been to a concert, it's like, oh, dang, like, I don't know, you're almost tired. And you feel like you've had a night out drinking. My friends. Hold on. I don't want to do this stuff because I want to edit it out, but I don't want to. So I mean, see, when you put me in front in charge of a camera to film, you get my weirdest sides. I was gonna burn my whole mouth on my man. Because <coughs> you don't put milk in those. Well, I don't anyway. Okay. I feel like that's enough crispiness. This doesn't look like toast, but it feels like toast. It feels like a hard boiled bloody egg. But it worked, so maybe it just isn't brown in here. This experience of toast in a toaster. Oh, right. Let's put this everything on here. I couldn't eat toast like this all the time though. I'd be annoyed. I like my toast to be like buttery and runny enough. And I don't think this is going to be. Because it's not even that hot to hold. Yeah, I know it's not even melting. No! This is gonna be the worst toast in history, isn't it? I'm just peckish, like, I really want some breakfast. Just gonna have to deal with it. <laughs> Surely it's not that bad. It's just, it's just basically crunchy bread with flavouring. I couldn't eat that on its own without anything, I don't think. I don't think I could eat... Oh, saying that, that bit's melted quite a bit. So maybe it is melting, just not at the rate as toast melts. Because I'm telling you, the colour of this is not toast. It's like... A far cry from what my colour toast looks like because I normally have it so it's like I don't know how you describe it like not undercooked but like you know those pictures of melting butter you see on um, Facebook and Instagram and whatever those are the last toast I like I love that toast should we try it a taste test so there's marmalade and butter on here melted so wow it generally just tastes like a rat toast that's pretty nice to be honest i'm not i'm not annoyed about that 
Once I am, and I'm about to this coffee because I'm burning my lip off. Um, so yeah, successful. Seven minutes, footage gone. <laughs> I swear down, vlog is just gonna be me trying to fill the hours up of filming. So I do apologise, it's just I'm not that great at doing daily vlogging because I literally just sit on my laptop on my phone all day and watch Christmas movies. <gasps> I did watch The Grinch yesterday for the first time. Well, I say I watched it, I, fell, I literally fell asleep before I finished, I was knackered. Um, yeah, so I watched The Good Doctor till about half past one, I think. And then um, I couldn't wait any longer. I was like, I messaged Shanice, so I was like, I physically cannot wait any longer to watch The Grinch because it's her favourite Christmas film. Um, and I was like, I need to watch it now. So the bit I got up to was when he decided to steal Christmas and was like, taking all the Christmas trees and whatever from their houses. That's the bit I got up to. So, I don't know how much longer I got left, but I will let you know. But I do like it, it's really good, it's really good. Guys, I'm gonna go because I'm just chatting crap right now. Um, I'm just trying to fill up the hours to be honest, just chatting. But if you guys have any Christmas movie recommendations for me, them down below because I need them so my I'm, I'm gonna watch so far End of Grinch, Elf because Elf is iconic, uh, Home Alone Lost in New York because that's my favourite one, um, what else am I watching? Uh, I feel like there was something else I wanted to watch but I've never seen. Oh, also, that's what I was going to say to you guys. With my Christmas nails, I think I'm going to do a French tip. But instead of having a white French tip, I'm going to have a sparkly red. I think that's what I'm going to go with. I think that'll be a vibe. Um, I completely went off track. I, I don't know what else Christmas movies I want to watch. Um, Jack Frost. I love Jack Frost. I really want to watch Leanne's film Boxing Day because I haven't actually seen that yet, which is really bad of me, so um need to watch that. They wasn't showing it in my cinemas at the time though. I don't know why, but they just didn't, so I didn't bother trying to get on DVD either because I don't really watch DVDs anymore. I'm basically all on Netflix or Now TV or whatever. And it's on Now TV, so um I've watched The Holiday already, so I'm not going to watch that again. Um, yeah, let me know recommendations down below and I will try and get through them. I've just been chilling in my room. I still haven't done a transition yet because I'm lazy and I can't bother to do it, but I will do it at some point. Um, it is nearly three o'clock. I don't know what's going on. Oh, hang on, my auntie did shout some dinner might be ready but um i'm gonna go and check now let's go see yeah so it turns out she did call me in the end and i just didn't hear her so let's have a look at my dinner luna's eyeing up my dinner like give me some but she's not allowed um she's got her food on the floor um my dinner we've got chicken roast potatoes carrots cabbage stuffing yorkshire's yum I think I'm gonna go ahead and watch a Christmas movie whilst eating my dinner. No, no, will you stop it? Mm. Okay, let's give it everything a taste test. Um, are you more of a if you have roast dinners? Are you more of a mint sauce, cranberry, apple? Personally, I'm all three, but I have to have a certain mint sauce, otherwise I don't like it. Um, the sweet mint sauce. So I like jelly consistency. Mmm. My favourite is cranberry. I love cranberry sauce. Mmm. That's good. Mmm. Cabbage. Mmm mmm mmm. <laughs> Can I help you? My fa one of my favourite things about cooked dinner. Right, Luna, you're being silly now. That quick dinner is roast potatoes. 
Mm. Mine's having done a more crunchy today. That's the spoiling. Um, so stuff in. Love me some stuff in. Mm. And chicken's chicken, so yum. So my dinner was ten ten, so good. And I'm currently watching B and B Merry. So it's on Netflix. Hopefully it's good. Um, I'm going to watch this and then do my room transition because I need to sort it out because it's bad. It's bad. And I'm also going to be putting up the tree later as well. So um, you guys can see me do that. Uh, I don't know if I'm going to decorate it, but my auntie just wants me to put it up because she's she's better than she was. Um, thank you to people asking um, on the comments and stuff. Um, but um, yeah, so... Hopefully she's better soon, because I don't like it when she's ill. Because you can really tell when she's ill as well, because it just seems like it's just weird seeing her ill. But it's the time of year and everyone's getting sick. But yeah, I think that'll be my last roast dinner till Christmas now, so i so excited. Um, this is a question for you as well today. What number one thing do you have to have on your... Christmas dinner so for me it's quite weird because it's not going to be anyone what well, anyone's expecting and you're going to be like huh what is that so basically I fell in love with this thing uh two years ago and now I literally could eat bowls and bowls and bowls of it. it's so good um it's basically <laughs> how do I explain this without sounding disgusting so it's leeks so leeks i don't know how to describe leeks they're just a vegetable with cheese sauce and it is just it's stunning like it's just stunning and i eat it hot i eat it cold i eat, i just love it that's the number one thing i have to have on my um roast dinner and obviously gotta have your pee blanks and um yam and turkey um but I want to know what's your number one thing that's got... Like, it would ruin the dinner if you didn't have this on. Like, your whole Christmas dinner would be ruined if this one thing wasn't on there. Let me know what that is. Because for me, it would be my leek and cheese. I don't know what it is. Like a, I don't, I don't even know what exactly it is, to be honest. I don't know what to call it. It's not a sauce, because it's not. But um, it's like... I don't know how to describe it. It's as thick as mashed potato, but there's no potato in it. It's just leek and uh, cheese sauce, but it's so good. Um, so, yeah, I'd be devastated if I didn't have that and pigs and blankets. So, what's the number one thing that have you have to have? Or what's your ultimate things that you have to have if one's too hard? So, if you, ha if you know the one, put the one. If you can't think of one, put, like, the ultimate things you have to have. Let me know. So it is now oof, just gone six o'clock. Luna, move your tush. And I've just Luna's been a pain in the butt. Um, I've just got some dinner. Very weird dinner as always. What do you expect? It's me after all. Um, I'm currently watching The Family Switch on Netflix. It's brand new. Um, so I've just got some spaghetti. Um, from a tin, you know, the spaghetti string things. Um, chicken soup with some wrap. So, yes, I'm gonna watch, keep watching the family switch. So, it's actually Vlogmas Day 4 right now. Um, I forgot to end the video, so I'm gonna end it here. Um, just currently watching Friends. So, I will speak to you guys tomorrow. Um, with a brand new video. Mwah.